Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Flo. Thanks so much for being interested in yoga for jiu-jitsu. I have this whole playlist going where I want to pull out more videos, especially for jiu-jitsu people like myself. I just see that there's a big need for people that train jiu-jitsu that just want to move better. A lot of guys just lift weights, go to the gym, do like heavy lifting. But personally, I don't think this is useful at all for your jiu-jitsu training and jiu-jitsu skills. Because when do you need to lay on your back and then bench press someone's body up? It's probably never. But depends on your style of rolling, maybe that's, maybe that's your thing. I am more on the side of functional movement, doing actually training that is useful for jiu-jitsu and that helps you to move better in your body on the mat that helps you to get a better feeling for your body weight, your weight distribution, your center of balance for the other person's weight distribution, center of balance, where the weight is, and also to be just open in your own body so that you can move um, through all sorts of positions. There are so many times where you're just seated and the person is here and you have to get up and you gotta go here and you wanna play top game, so you gotta be from the butt maybe there was like half a sweep but you just came to seat it and you want to keep going again going this way and you want to come up and you know if you're stuck here and you can't get your butt off the ground then what does all the lifting weights help it does nothing so personally you know this is the stuff we want to work on and for knee on belly and then you maybe want to like be on one knee and then switch and like all that stuff so that's my approach to it. Of course, if you're lifting, keep lifting. I believe there's just more useful things to do. So with this being said, in all my playlists, Yoga for BJJ, this is the foundation, my philosophy for all of this. And so there I'll share a lot on foot health, foot flexibility, um, knee health, lower body, back pain, um, what you can do there. Um, hip mobility especially because all these movements are so important to get up off the ground for example and so today i want to share with you a routine that i find very helpful to mostly work on your top game to be on top and we will also specifically work on this movement where you're down and you come up so we'll open up the inner thighs the groin area the hamstrings the hips and we'll do some flexibility drills but also some mobility drills so my intention is that that will help you to move better from seated to kneeling and also to be more stable in a kneeling position and to just feel your own body weight better and that maybe prevents you from being swept, which is amazing. If someone cannot sweep you or if you're always on top moving around, you're always two or three steps ahead. That's what you want, right? So let's just jump into it. Come into a hero's pose position. So you're sitting on the heels, you're kneeling or sitting on the heels. Bring the feet close together. Keep the fingertips on the ground. Start to lift your knees up and you stay on the toes. So we're stretching out the tops of the feet. Kind of feels like a straight ankle lock. And of course, this helps to be a little bit more open in your ankle so that you maybe don't tap that early and you can resist for a second longer and perhaps that's your escape and you can get a grip on the collar or so and then you know, you're out of the ankle lock. Let's just rock up and down with the knees. Lean back a little bit more. If that's uncomfortable or if this doesn't look anywhere close to what I'm doing here, I totally understand. Maybe for you it's like palms down, you lift only a little bit up and you rock here. That's great. You're doing the work in the end. You're here, you're watching the video, you're doing the work and that's amazing. Let's do a couple more. Let's, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the heels, keep the knees lifted. Maybe lift the hands up off the ground for five, four, three, lean more back, two, one. Beautiful job. Let's come into a seated position. Bring the legs through, bring the feet together for butterfly. I'll rotate this way. No need for you to do the same. Bring the feet together. The closer you bring your feet to your hips, the more intense this is. So let's start further away and then fold forward. I encourage you to 
grab actually the toes and you bend the toes outwards like this, just like as if you flex the feet, that way you keep the knees safe, fold forward and down. Keep the back rounded, really find a nice rounding, tuck the chin to the chest. There's no reason to keep the spine straight because that way you only stretch the lower body. We want to take advantage of that position and stretch actually the entire body. So you want to also round forward. Take a couple deep breaths. It's also really important in Jiu-Jitsu is to breathe. To learn how to breathe, to control the breath, and to remain super calm and focused so that you actually almost never get out of breath and you always have a clear mind, really sharp, and so that you can always be a few steps ahead. Or if you are in a position where you might get choked almost or you're in a submission, especially your chokes, you can just remain super calm because your breath is so slow, you're so centered, you just can hang out there and really work on an on a escape. Beautiful. Release. Last one to open up the hips. Let's come onto the back for a happy baby. Grab either behind the knees or grab the outside edges of your feet. Keep the lower back and the shoulders on the ground as you move the knees closer to your armpits. And of course, this might look very different to you, especially if you're really tight and stiff. And so you might want to grab behind the knees, and that's perfect. To just play around with this, you can straighten one leg, then the other, so you see how this might help with your guard. I think I have another video just with things like this on your back that help with your guard. The other side, straighten the other leg, bend the other. Beautiful, just real quick, back to happy baby. Wonderful, let's come to a seated position again. Come onto the knees, stay on your toes, then extend one leg forward, so we're coming into this low lunge. Bring both hands on top of your right knee, stay on your left toes, send the hips forward. So now we're targeting the left front side of the hip. Then start to bounce forward and back. So you're actually moving consciously with effort, you're pushing forward, but that pulling back is what your body is doing automatically. So you stretch the tendon, and then they automatically come back together, or the, the fascia, not the tendon. Let's do a couple more. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Now straighten the right leg. Heel toe the right foot more forward. Let's come into a half splits. Both hands on the ground, or maybe on books or blocks if that's too far away. Make sure the left hip is over the left knee. Flex the right foot, the toes are pointing towards you. Fold forward and down. Tuck the chin to the chest if you want. And of course, it doesn't matter how it looks. I've been doing this for many years every day. Uh, and have been teaching yoga for a long time and training jiu-jitsu for many, many years. And so this might look different for me than it looks in your body if you're just starting out. So keep that in mind. It's not about how it looks. Also get away from this no pain, no gain mentality. It really doesn't make sense in functional and body weight movement like this. Especially with flexibility and mobility, you have to get that out of your head. It just doesn't work. You only get injured. You can't train. You might mess up your body, so you want to just look for that sensation where you feel it. Look for that strong sensation, but nothing painful, and you stay there and you breathe. It's really that simple. It's really all about developing the right mindset. Very good. Rebend the right knee. Stay on your left toes. So the knees also get stronger the more you are on them. We start to straighten the right leg again, but you keep the hips nice and high. Lift your right foot up off the ground. You're on the left toes, you're on the left knee, engage your left butt cheek to push the hip more forward. Use your hands here to balance. This is a very useful drill for any like knee on belly things when you're on top and you want to switch sides from one side to the other. Just helps with feeling your own body weight, your balance more. Very good, let's hold for five, four, lift the right leg high up, three, two, and one, very good. Come into a squat, let's give the knee a break. 
and then let's do the other side. Right knee down, the left knee forward. Find that low lunge, hands on top of your left knee, <coughs> stay on the right toes, send the hips forward and down. Let's just stay here, more static to stretch. Keep the breath going through the nose. Then start to bounce with the hips forward and back. So you really move forward and then the body is pulling it, pulling you back out of it automatically. So you push forward and then this pulling back comes automatically. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Straighten your left leg. Half calf. Um, Half splits, hands down, right hip over right knee, stay on the toes, flex those left toes as well, the left foot, <coughs> fold forward and down. Tuck the chin to the chest, pull the left hip back. If you feel it here in the left outer hip, perfect, you're doing everything right. Then add the breath to it, breathe into that side, that part of your body. A couple more breaths. Very good. Rebend the left knee. Find a stable foundation here with the with the spine, the weight going down into the right knee. Use your right toes for balance. Lift your left foot up off the ground. Use your hands. Just balancing here. Try to move the leg around a little bit to challenge your balance. Maybe up and down, left and right. Stare at one point on the ground to focus on. Keep the breath going. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one. I almost I always feel like I'm in circus when I'm doing this, balancing on a rope, like really high up, but it's just on the mat. Awesome job. Other side again. We bring the right foot forward. Keep the left knee bent, and you actually sit down. So now we're doing this drill I showed in the very beginning where we come from seated up. So you keep that foot flexed so that you can actually roll over the ankle. And this foot is on the ground. You have both hips on the mat and you kind of need this like opening in the legs up. That's why we did this warm up in the beginning. So the more opening you have here and the more you can open up, the better it is. You also need lots of core for this one. So even if you don't get it in the beginning or you have to use lots of momentum, it's all good. We're going for five. Let's do the first one nice and slow. So you reach forward, you keep that left knee nice and bent as close to your hips as possible. You reach forward and then the hips lift up. You push the hips all the way forward, so you bend. You want to keep that left leg nice and bent. The left heel close to your hips, to your groin area. The, heels is, the heel is almost in the middle. You reach forward, you use some core, and if you do it super slow, of course, it's a lot harder. So you reach forward, lots of core, and then you come forward, push the hips all the way forward. So you find a very nice bend in the right leg, and you also shift that knee as far forward as possible. So you work on um, strength, uh, um, opening up and stretching the the ankle, which is also very important for squats and all kinds of positions that are like a squat. Then you come back, hips down, use those hands to counterbalance, and you reach back forward, all the way forward and back. Let's do four more, so we're doing six total. Three more, let's give it a try. Maybe use some more momentum. Last two. And last one. Very good. Set the hips back down. Let's do the other side. And we have one more drill after this, and then we're also done with this mobility training. This is really something you can do every day to warm up for class or also after class. Mobility training is really not something, I would say, that's replacing any other strength training, of course, body weight strength training, or like real flexibility training. Mobility training is having the strength in a position where you're already pretty open, stretched, flexed, 
you're kind of at the end of your range of motion. For me, mobility is where you now have the strength to come out of that position. So here it's kind of like an open position. You're really open um, flexibility-wise, and you still want to have that strength while you are here and create that force to move and come out of it. And so that's what mobility uh, for me is. Bring that, bend that right leg a lot. Keep that um, right foot nice and pointed. Left foot down, reach forward, the hips lift up. Move the hips all the way forward. Move the knee forward, set the hips back down. Move forward and back. Let's do four more. Kind of look forward as well in the direction you're going to. Very good. I lost count, but I think I have two more. Let's just do two more. Last one. Very good, beautiful. Check out the, the legs real quick. Great, so now we're coming into the last one, which is gonna be a little bit more challenging, but we're putting some pieces together. So we're from here, same side, uh, right side again, right foot down, keep that left leg bent, look first. We're shifting forward, then you come up, you come onto the left knee, kind of like off the mat, now let's do it again. So you're bending the left leg first, you have to kind of scoot to the right side if you're not on carpet. You shift forward, come up, come onto the left knee, keep the right foot down, then you extend the leg forward. You come into a pistol squat, that low position. Then you come back, left knee down, move it to the side, and then sit back down. And we're just doing three of those. So if that bringing the leg forward, coming to that pistol squat is too hard for you, then keep the hands on the ground for support. If you are scared of your knee, also keep the hands down, but know that the body op only opens up if you move in those directions. The joint only opens up, the body opens up, the cartilage, everything, if you use it in that way. If you never use it in that way, you will never open up this way, okay? Let's go for three. So you shift forward, bring the left foot back, you're on the left knee, weight into the right foot, step it through, Pistol squat down, little lift up, bring it back on the left knee, bring that foot over again and sit the hips down. Let's do two more. Last one. Very good, very nice. Let's do the other side. If you're new to body weight training, natural movement training or yoga, I don't expect you to get this right away. So no worries. If you're new to this, for example, you're purple belt in Jiu Jitsu or blue belt or white belt, um, no, no white belt, blue belt, purple, brown, whatever it is. So you know what you're doing. If you're new to this, you're new to yoga, to functional movement, natural movement, you are white belt in that. So remind yourself of that white belt stage, that beginner's mind. In Jiu Jitsu too, everything was so hard, super overwhelming. Maybe it's the same for you right now with this. So keep that in mind, that you can progress and you will if you just keep showing up and you keep doing the work. Nothing be mad time, right? Other side, so left foot on the ground, right leg is bent, you come forward, Come to the right knee, step the right leg through, come back, right knee down, bring the foot to the side, set the hips down. Very nice. Shift forward, step it through, come back, and hips down. I think one more. But I did some more on the other side to demo, so let's do one more. Very nice. Back and down. <laughs> Wonderful job. Take a moment to just sit with eyes closed. Relax. If the heart rate came up, if you're breathing faster, take that time to slow everything down again. 
And I hope you found this helpful and you can integrate this into your training, into your warm up, your cool down, before lifting, after lifting, in the middle or stop lifting and just do all body weight functional movement training to really help with your jiu-jitsu and to bring that to the next level. I think, I personally believe you don't need to learn more techniques. You only need to learn and practice to move better in the body and then your jiu-jitsu will skyrocket although you don't learn any new submissions or sweeps you just move so much better you're always ahead always ahead when you roll or you just see things coming a lot faster so then you can escape or counter faster of course if you're a white belt blue belt this doesn't really apply but i think once you reach purple belt you have a nice pool of techniques very specific jiu-jitsu techniques that it's then time to focus a lot more on moving better, moving well, to really bring your jiu-jitsu to the next level. Then if you add more jiu-jitsu drills to it and you drill the techniques, the sweeps, the passes, all that stuff, and you maybe even add more technique from classes to it, imagine what will happen to your game. You will be unstoppable. And so I hope I can inspire you, inspire you a little bit with these drills, these exercises, make sure you check out all the other videos as well. There's a lot for the whole body, even a stretching routine, a warm-up routine for jiu-jitsu. So make sure you check that out. It's all for free here on YouTube, as always. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. That really helps me to produce more free videos like this for you so that you can benefit and move better train better and also stay healthy. Thanks so much for watching and I see you soon. Have a great day.